The first constraint that I'd like to talk about is the coincident constraint. The coincident constraint simply combines points together to bond them together. So here you can see I have some endpoints of lines, I have the center point of a circle, and I have my origin point. And I'm going to use the coincident constraint to join some of these points together. I'm going to choose the coincident constraint by clicking on the symbol, and then I'm going to click on the endpoint of one line and the endpoint of the other line. And now you can see when I move one line, the other line moves in relationship with it because the points of these lines have been bonded together. Next, I'm going to move the endpoint of this line and make it coincident with the origin point. So again, I'm going to click on the coincident symbol, click on the endpoint of the line, and click on the origin point. And now you can see that no longer can the endpoint of this line move off of the origin. So far, I've always started the constraint and I've clicked on the point and then the other point to bond the two points together. You can also pre-select the points and then choose the constraints. So here I have the two points. I'm going to hold down on the Mac, it's Command, and on Windows, it's Control. And I'm going to select the first point and I'm going to select the second point. Once I have those points highlighted, you can see that Fusion has removed some of the constraints that don't make sense for this type of entity selection, and I will go and choose Coincident. And now those two points are bonded together, so if I move the line, the circle will follow along.